Sultan says, does touching an unmahram nullify your wudu? This is an issue of dispute among scholars. And the reason of it, the verse in Surah Al-Nisa, uh, in Surah Al-Ma'idah, أَوْلَا مَسْتُمُ النِّسَاء And it's also in, 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 in Nisa. So, لا مَسْتُمُ He refers to intercourse. This is the vast majority of scholars. Interpretation. Imam al-Shafi'i thought that this is referring to touching. So to him, in his school of thought, touching your wife, touching your sister, touching your mother, touching an unmahram nullifies your wudu. And this introduces a lot of hardship, which is not based on authentic evidence and proof from the Quran and the Sunnah. So the vast majority went against this opinion and said, no, awla mastumun nisa, this is referring to intercourse. And they've explained this. And also from the Sunnah, where the Prophet used to maybe kiss one of his wives and go out for prayer without performing wudu. So the things that nullify your wudu has to be, have to be backed up by proof from the Quran and the Sunnah. So urinating, defecating, passing of, passing of wind, um, sleeping, and eating camel's meat, all are backed by evidences from the Quran and Sunnah to prove that they nullify your wudu. But when it comes to touching an unmahram, this is sinful. And not everything sinful breaks your wudu. Smoking is sinful, but it does not break your wudu. Watching haram things or listening to music is sinful, but it is not, does not impact the validity of your wudu. And therefore, touching an unmahram does not impact your wudu unless this leads to a, a discharge due to such uh, sin. And in this case, the discharge that is emitted invalidates the wudu and not the action of touching itself. And Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.